Hello, fourth graders. This is Science with Mr. Rooch, fourth grade science teacher at Juniata Gap Elementary School. I'm sure you're all so excited. This is actually the last week of videotaped lessons and activities found on the activity board. The first week of June, you will be given a fun activity which does not have to be turned in until the first day of school at the end of August. You will get this activity from your teacher on May 28th when you turn in your schoolwork. I want to start today's lesson by looking at two pictures. And I want you to think, what do these two pictures have in common? Some of the things you're probably thinking about are speed, fast, motion, movement, maybe even, even racing. Well, the thing I want to focus on for today is motion. Both of these pictures are examples of an object or objects in motion. So we're going to talk today about how is motion described and how do we measure it. Right now, the place you are located is your position. My position right now is on a couch in the family room of my home. Every object has a position. Now, motion occurs when you change the position of that object. Motion can be forward or backward, up or down, side to side. I have a picture of me and the copier machine. The copier machine has a position right now on the second floor of Juniata Gap Elementary School. I am attempting to change the position of that copier machine by moving it forward or I am trying to put that copier machine into motion. Now, how do we measure motion? We use the word speed. Speed tells us how fast an object changes position in a certain amount of time. You use certain words like fast or slow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or you can be more exact, such as 50 miles per hour. Okay. Speed is actually calculated as distance divided by time. If your car is traveling 50 miles per hour, that means in a one hour time span, that car will travel 50 miles. Stopwatches is a common device used to measure speed. Now let's play a very simple speed comparison game. I have on the screen right now four objects. All four of these objects can be put into motion. Let's order these objects in, uh, let's look at slowest to fastest. At top speed, which of these four objects would be the slowest? And then of course we would work our way up to which of these four objects would move the fastest. So an easy one, boys and girls, which of these moves the slowest? Of course, the bicycle. Now, traveling up with greater speed, which object do you think comes next? It would be the train or the locomotive. After that, as we travel up in speed, would be the car. Yes, believe it or not, a car does travel faster than a locomotive. And then, of course, the fastest object on this screen would be the airplane. Uh, just a quick comparison. If you were traveling from here to California, I don't even want to guess that distance. Let's just say it's over 4,000 miles. 
on a bicycle, it is my guess that it would take you three to five weeks. By train, traveling directly without stopping, it would be my guess four to five days. An automobile, a car, would probably make that trip, depending on how often you stop, anywhere from two to three, maybe at the most four days. But an airplane, and I've done it often, from here to California, is a distance of, or time, five and a half hours. So you can see the difference between traveling by bicycle or traveling by airplane. Here are four animals. We have three mammals and a reptile. Let's look at their speed. Which of these would we say moves at the slowest speed? I'm sure you all guessed the turtle. Let's move up one notch in speed, which would come next on a scale of slow to fast. If you said the rabbit, you are correct. And of course, the next animal up would be the dog. And then the fastest land animal on earth is also pictured here. And that would be the cheetah or jaguar. This one is a cheetah the fastest land animal on earth. Now there is no activity today on the activity board. As a matter of fact, the activity board today consists of making a game and using all the knowledge you've gathered over the last two months into a game with questions and things. But I do have something for you to think about. So we can call this your science activity for the day. Which of these three animals. We have two fish and a mammal. Is the fastest swimmer in the ocean? And I'm not going to tell you the answer. I'm going to have you look it up. But the answer to this question is the fastest swimmer in the ocean. So look it up on your own. Is it the sailfish? Is it the tiger shark? Or is it the mammal? I'm sorry, the dolphin. Sailfish, tiger shark, or dolphin? I'll let you look that up to discover the fastest swimmer in the ocean. Now, in, in conclusion today, I want to remind you of a very important date. On Thursday, May 28th, at your elementary school, you will be turning in all the work you have finished. You have a time period from 8 to 9.30 a.m. As you arrive to your school, you will drop, be dropping off your work. You will be dropping off any school materials or any school-owned instrument or library book that you may have. You will be dropping it off at school on this date and time. You also will be receiving anything you left behind back on that last day of school in March, March 13th. Hope you enjoyed today's video. There will be another video, at least one or two more, this week. Till then.